Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 38 for Wednesday, March 25th, 2015. Material weather. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by Me Undies. Me Undies is the most comfortable and hip underwear you'll ever wear. Check out all the styles and get 20% off your first order, plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash quit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. At the top of my topics list, I have quite a list right now, uh, has been a weather episode because for as long as I've had a smartphone, a good weather app has always kind of been something I'm looking for, something that I use daily. Sure, Google Now does a great job showing current conditions along with a five-day forecast. I use that all the time because it's just right there in my Google Now list. But sometimes you want a little bit more and we're spoiled with options. And to be honest, my list of potential weather apps to cover on this episode is ginormous. I could probably do three episodes based on what I have already. But at some point, I started to detect a theme within a theme. That's weather apps that were designed with material design in mind. So I hope you like what I came up with. Let's take a look at three material design weather apps in this week's roundup. First up is Simple Weather, which launched a few weeks ago, and it's very polished right out of the gate. Simple Weather offers an unlimited number of locations to be tracked inside the app. Currently, I'm tracking Petaluma, California, and Boise, Idaho, where I was born. The overview section gives you a bunch of cards with the basic information you'd expect at a glance. Current conditions, and not just the temperature, but detailed information about Things like how humid it is, chance of precipitation, a feels-like rating, wind, and more. You've got a sunrise, sunset chart, and finally a seven-day forecast with each of those readings tappable if you want expanded information for any particular day. I especially like how items outside of view slide into the card when you scroll down. There's some nice material design animations throughout. Now pull out the sliding drawer and you have a few more places to explore. There's daily forecasts that gives you a full screen layout of cards detailing the next seven days of weather, similar to what you get in overview but spread out in a much larger space. Hourly forecasts shows a bunch of hourly charts Duh. following all of the major elements that will either spoil your trip to the beach or convince you to use extra sunscreen. And finally, Maps shows satellite imagery of this planet we all occupy with an overlay of current conditions in the general area. You can tap that floating action button to switch between precipitation data, temperature data, and cloud cover. Those layers did take a bit of time to load in for what it's worth, so give it some time. And Simple Weather does include a number of widgets for your home screen, including current conditions, five-day forecast, and a nice clock and weather widget as well. You can set it to show the white card in the background on the widget to separate it from the background, uh, or you can show it as transparent, your choice. Simple Weather is free in the Play Store with a $1.99 in-app purchase to remove the ads. Next up is a material design weather app that launched while Android L was still in a developer preview last September, so it's had a lot of time to sharpen its offering. It's called Weather Timeline, and the developer aims to make it easy to see the next hour, 48 hours, and week with a single glance, and obviously more details are available from there. When launched, you get your places readout, and that keeps things somewhat simple with a colorful card for each location that you're tracking. You can add more 
with that floating action button at the bottom. Tap into a location, you begin to see why the app is called Weather Timeline. A top to bottom tree details all the stuff you'll need to know. At the top are the current conditions, the basics like precipitation, sunrise, sunset, or whatever happens to be next, uh, and winds. Tap that to expand it for more details like air pressure, dew point, visibility, and all that other important stuff, including feels like rating. That block leads down to the next hour, followed by the next 24 hours. That can be tapped into, resulting in the next 48 hours broken into hour blocks, and each of those can be tapped for more information about each hour. Talk about granular. Continuing down the timeline, we get the next seven days' worth of information, and yes, each of those can be dialed into down to the hour for even more weather nerd nirvana. Nerdvana? Sure, let's go with that. Here's where things get spooky. Step into a time machine and weather timeline will attempt to predict the far out future based on statistics from years past. Might not end up being totally accurate, but statistics are better than nothing, right? And if you need a weather widget, weather timeline gives you a whopping 11 widget options and they each have a ton of customization settings when created. Excellent bang for your buck, literally a buck. Check out Weather Timeline for 99 cents in the Play Store. And finally, let's say that more than a weather app that also includes widgets, you want what is referred to as a widget first approach. Okay, so I doubt anybody has ever referred to anything as widget first, but when you call your weather app material weather widget, one can only assume as much. Material Weather Widget does have a standalone app mode, and it covers the basics with a five-day forecast, current conditions, and a week's worth of moon phases. Swiping to the left actually brings up a page for adding various locations to the mix as well. But when you install Material Weather Widget, you're after the widgets. It's in the damn name. And fans of the white cards, blue banner style of material design will like what they find. Material Weather Widget offers five different widgets that cover the bases from a five-day forecast to a very slimline current conditions widget to one big widget that covers everything. You can do a number of things to alter the look and feel of the widgets inside the app settings, like showing or hiding specific information. If you don't want to see feels like data or humidity data, you can hide that. Changing the colors within the theme for matching a particular aesthetic and making things more transparent if that's your thing. No doubt Material Weather Widget is a bit less jam-packed as the previous two apps, but it definitely offers what it promises, especially for material design fanatics. Find Material Weather Widget for free in the Play Store. Now, obviously, between the three I showed off in today's episode, Weather Timeline seems to be the one that's packed with the most depth of information and features, including an impressive array of home screen widgets. But honestly, I really enjoyed playing with them all, and they each have their strengths. You really can't go wrong with any of these apps. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. That's Me Undies. Really, you should know about MeUndies.com. Let's face it. We spend 90% of our life in underwear with Me Undies. You'll get great fitting underwear that's two times softer than cotton. MeUndies are the most comfortable underwear you're going to wear. Plus, they're stylish. There are a ton of options for polkas, plaid, funky, pinstripes, to dozens of colors for both men and women. Heck, I even have a pair that's camouflage. And let me tell you, those can be really hard to find. Sorry, bad joke. Uh, just check the photos yourself at MeUndies.com slash twit. This level of quality Typically retails for two times the, the MeUndies price. No retail middlemen basically means you save more. MeUndies is made from an environmentally friendly and incredibly soft fabric called modal, and it is very soft. It's sustainably sourced from beechwood trees in the Austrian Alps. They also use a CO2 neutral process with a low carbon footprint, and it saves water, it saves energy, and that's all due to their spun dyed fiber process. MeUndies fit perfectly and keep you cool where you need it most. Having comfortable underwear will change the way you feel every day. Once you try MeUndies, you'll never go back. Get yourself some good underwear. Go to MeUndies.com slash twit. Get 20% off and free shipping on your first order. You can save even more when you buy a pack. They guarantee you'll be happy or your first pair is free. That's 20% off when you go to MeUndies.com slash twit. And we thank MeUndies for their support of Android App Arena. All right, coming up right now, the marriage of two passions of mine, classic old school video games and getting fit, exercise. It's this week's Big App. 
If there's one word that takes me back, it's Atari. Now, I know the word doesn't have as much cachet as it once did when I was a wee lad, but what can I say? It's just not easy for me to accept that Atari doesn't automatically translate to arcade mayhem. Atari just released an app that fuses the company's classic gaming roots with fitness. Strangely, it's called Atari Fit, and it's meant to get you active in the gym by presenting over 100 detailed exercises that you can put to use during your workout. You can create a workout plan or choose from a number of predefined routines that were certified by a National Academy of Sports Medicine specialist. And like any good free-to-play game, completing the exercises actually earns you points inside the app. Further, you can earn more points by adhering to tips that the app delivers daily, as well as tracking your progress and other things like how many calories you're burning along the way. And what can you do with all those points? Like walking into an arcade with a pocket full of coins, you can drop them into the virtual coin box of in-app games like Centipede, Pong, Super Breakout, and the app says more to follow. Atari Fit connects with Google Fit and also allows you to connect with Facebook to compete with your friends there. That's real world gamification, folks. I will say that the app has a lot of rough edges at first. Tapping through parts can be confusing, sometimes unpredictable. I had to quit out and start over a few times due to hangups. And the service itself does have a recurring cost, though you can purchase workout plans outright for around $3 a pop. But subscribing to unlimited access to everything runs $3 for three months, up to $9 for the whole year. But hey, if you're already paying for a gym membership, I suppose that's a drop in the bucket. For a new approach to personal fitness, check out Atari Fit and see if old school video gaming is the motivation you've been lacking. Atari Fit is free in the Play Store with upgrade purchases inside the app. All right, let it be known that Atari Fit has the best of intentions. And I like the idea. I don't know if old school video games is quite the motivation everyone needs, but that app is buggy. The more I played around with it, the more it would kind of hang up in places, become totally unresponsive. And my only recourse was to back out to the home screen like I showed and swipe it away in the multitasking view and then relaunch and try again. And for a service with a recurring cost, that's kind of unacceptable. Hopefully they get it fixed soon. All right, that is it. Hey, I, I love hearing from you guys all the time. You guys are sending in fantastic recommendations, super helpful to me. Uh, send your favorite apps, your favorite categories, whatever you have to arena at twit.tv and I read every one and consider them all. There's also a subreddit for the show. I post categories. You, uh, you, know, you tell me if you have an app that fits into those categories, why you love it so much, and hopefully I include it in the show. I have one right now that I put up uh, last week that is looking for apps that let you repurpose old unused hardware in interesting ways. So you have a, you know, an old broken or not broken, it needs to work hopefully, but uh, an old phone in your drawer. How can you put it to use for you? That's what this app's going to be. All, this uh, episode is going to be all about. If you have input on some of your favorite apps that fit into that category, head on over to AndroidAppArena.Reddit.com. You can share them with me there. You can also follow me on Google Plus for my Android ramblings from time to time. Just search for me. Uh, I host a live viewing party of each week's episode. I'm always on set to answer any questions you might have about the apps in this show or really anything Android related. And that happens every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific following tech news tonight at live.twit.tv. And then, of course, if you miss the live taping, just go to the show page. We have all the details for everything that you need to know about this show. That's twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I will see you next week in the arena. <laughs>